Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Pisces for the month of December. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, um, although I'm reading for December, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. Okay, so what I see here is um, you may have jumped into something without really thinking and you could be uh, experiencing consequences of that decision at this time because you open your reading with the jester. This could also may not have happened yet. This could be coming. Um, so you open your reading with the jester and clearly we see that he's walking down this path, but he's not looking where he's going. And there is a lightning strike. So if you have uh, jumped into a relationship recently and you feel, because the Lady of Wisdom is here, you would have felt an intuitive nudge. You might have pushed it aside. It's possible that there's some shocking news that is coming to you about that connection and you will see that your intuition was on point okay um, so this may or may not have happened yet it is this relationship we see it here um, this could have been head over heels love at first sight you see all the cupids on this card they're all over the place so uh, a very intense immediate connection is what happened here but um, you don't have enough information about this person um, and I feel like with the next card of the preparation being in reverse it's like um, I feel like you weren't careful or you didn't think it through the connection the feelings the emotion uh, are what made you take that leap of faith based upon the information that you had in the moment, you know, you would not have thought because I feel like uh, you, this card could also say that you were unprepared uh, for uh, this lightning strike that came at you or is coming, depending where you are in the energy. Um, it seems like... Uh, if you've already been hit, you're in this Six of Swords energy. Your foot is still in the choppy water. You, um, you really are head over heels in love with this person. I have the love card here. Um, or this is vice versa, you know. Um, these energies can be vice versa, so I have to I have to mention that. But um, I feel like you are very much in love with this person, and I feel that whatever this news is, it either has or will shatter your world. It's like a, a, a sudden change where you had a certain specific image of a person and a direction, and suddenly something happens that completely shatters that vision for you. You see, yeah, look, see, you were daydreaming. You had a vision. Now, with whatever this news is that has shattered this vision, it has given you a lot of insecurities. It has, you suddenly feel not good enough, possibly. You may even uh, feel like, well, maybe, you know, they were playing mind games. But I, I feel that, um, I, I feel like that uh, is something you will try to push aside. <clears throat> the reason being that, um, the reason being, let me just show you, is because of this. It's because you really desire what's on the other side of that door. You're not through the door. You're still on this side and you only have little bits of information. 
but you really whatever is there which is this love it's where you want to go even though something has happened that shattered your world and caused you all of these insecurities you may have found out with this card being here that there was a third party that this person was hiding not telling you about okay here see look the Pied Piper you have fallen under this person's spell and they may have led you astray so you could possibly find out about a third party um, it feels like um, Convenenza, Two of Pentacles, Reverse, Three of Swords. So um, it feels like somebody was juggling two relationships and it, it suddenly became uh, difficult or uh, maybe their partner was getting suspicious. It feels like they had to drop one and you are the one that got dropped. You've been abandoned. And this brought to you heartbreak, pain. Um, it could be um, that you're trying to remain strong in the face of everything that you've learned. You may be wanting to speak to this person. Or maybe it took courage on this person to uh, to tell this to you. I feel like you need, it's more energy uh, of you trying or needing to be strong. I feel like, you, you see, you have nightmares about the risk, about the action that you took, about... Uh, everything that has happened because we have the fool returning here on the nine of swords and you can clearly see the nine of swords six of cups this is how my cards fall and he's stuck in the past he's having nightmares about the past wakes up at night thinking about it and about the risk that he took and the consequences uh, and the possible consequences because I feel almost like He's hoping uh, perhaps to change that person's mind or that they'll change their mind or it, they are hoping or waiting on an external decision, something external. I think that whatever is coming is coming to them. Unex whatever their response is, it's unexpected. I feel like this person believes in this love even though their vision got shattered, I feel like they kind of pull the pieces back together and have not given up hope. I feel that they, with the cards I'm seeing here, that they are moving towards something that they strongly believe in and they strongly believe in the vision that they've been dreaming of and the love here. They're pushing aside what happened. They're pushing aside their insecurities. Believing, this card is believing in something so strongly and it, it is a wish, which is the desire. Believing in it so strongly that they push forward despite any fears. And that's exactly what you're doing you're with the three of cups here uh, which is a card of steadfastness you're not backing down you're working steadily towards the goal of the ace of rods it's what you're working on you're not there yet but you are working on it and this is about getting that new opportunity this is something that you feel very passionate about you know that you're wanting to form or develop he's giving form to that to that wand so you have a lot of passion for this person for this dream 
And what we see is, um, although this Knight of Swords, he brought something out into the light, um, there's something here uh, you see or that you wish to see. Um, you're hoping for a fair and just outcome. So I feel like what he brought out to the light was the fact that he was in another relationship. Okay. And, but I still think as shocking as it was, uh, I still think that you still want the relationship with this person. And maybe you're hoping that they will choose you. Because the Melodamantam is here, and that is the card of justice, and we see that uh, this person is down uh, praying for that fair and just outcome. Knight of Swords in reverse. You could be praying. Uh, you could be praying for uh, to get this person back. That would be your fair uh, and just outcome, I suppose. It's what you're what you're hoping for, anyway. Um, hoping uh, for change, or that someone will change uh, their mind. I feel. It could be that you may have a lot of fears for uh, something that you jumped into because you're fearing now with the Im new information you have that um, you may not have this dream. These are the, the insecurities that you get that you push aside. Um, you are struggling with something that you're you you have inside uh, that you are um, trying to uh, to look at okay um, reflect upon um, you're trying maybe to uh, to intuit things. you weren't happy with the way it was here in the past um, and you are hoping for a way out because you don't want this ending but yet you're very very afraid that this person may not choose you mm -hmm. but you're pushing forward in hopes that they will i feel that This, I feel that you will uh, get your communication from this person. And I feel that they will tell you what you want to hear. I, they will tell you that they want to uh, leave this uh, heartbreaking situation, you know, behind you. Um, an offer of peace and a new beginning. It will feel like they, they greatly value you. They will be uh, very persuasive. Okay. But I must warn you that you need to look deeper. Because information is going to be withheld from you with the High Priestess and the King of Swords reverse. They will not be telling you the whole truth. They will be playing their cards close to their chest when they give you this story. They will tell you, I left. This is a card of escape. So they left when things got hard, okay? But I've been thinking, being away from you has allowed me to gain some clarity. So 
they've we'll talk about that reflection reminiscing they miss your inside jokes that will mean something to someone and they want to mend the relationship they want to fix the connection so they will say all of these things but the high priestess says you need to look deeper receiving her and she is in your future um, suggests that you need to reflect on your situation trust your instincts to guide you through um, things are, are not what they appear to be right now. Information is being withheld. Someone is being uh, or poses a mystery. Now... Your final message from the cos uh, from the cosmic uh, think twice before you fall for it before you fall for all of these things they're telling you think twice because not everyone deserves your energy they're saying and this person doesn't really want a commitment you're both thinking in different directions he is interested in something temporary so he cannot give you what you want or, you know, what you deserve. But you do get another opportunity. Ace of Wisdom is here. An offering of peace. You're being told to, uh, you know, listen to your intuition. look deeper that is what i have for you i thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation it is greatly appreciated many blessings to all of you